Hello, this is Micah Wood from Order of Business, and I'm here today to uh, show you how to customize a WordPress photo gallery. So the assumption here is that you've already inserted a photo gallery, and you know how to do that. Um, so what we're going to look at is a few of the basic options that we have when we uh, go through the gallery settings. So I'm going to look here at the back end of WordPress. So after you log in, you're showing your dashboard here. So I'm just going to go navigate to the post uh, that I have. Uh, so it's the Hello World post I'm working on. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to click on the image uh, or photo gallery placeholder and the edit gallery um, button here. And so it's going to pop me over to the gallery tab. So I can change any of the images I want just by clicking the show link over here and changing any of these things. So I can change the title um, to uh, whatever it is I want and I can change the alternate text uh, caption which will show below the picture. So for example um, I will type in a caption and I will instead of I don't want to insert into post I just want to come down and click save all changes um, one of the other things I can do is control the order of the images just by dragging and dropping. Uh, so let's say I want the image uh, that I just edited here to be at the top. So you see WordPress numbers them for you and we can save those changes uh, because these, these changes are independent of these down here and if you make changes up here and, and down here um, they won't both be uh, taken into account. One or the other will clear out. So we save the top changes, come to the bottom, and we're going to uh, make sure and use our menu order because we just changed the order. So menu order allows us to control the order of those images. You can sort by title, by the date and time that you uploaded them, or you can randomize them. Um, and you can flip things around by using the ascending, descending options here. Uh, gallery columns is currently two. We're going to go ahead and change that to three. Um, see what happens here. So we're going to update our gallery settings. And so as soon as that's done, we're going to update our post to save those changes. And then come back to the front of the website here uh, where we have our gallery. So I'm going to refresh. And we should have a new caption. And we should have um, three to uh, three columns. So we do have three columns. Uh, we see that we have our caption here and um, so that you understand the image file and attachment page options this is what an attachment page is and if you were to click on this link here uh, this is what an image file looks like so um, when you come down to your option there that we just uh, took a look at um, if you choose the image file clicking on this link would take you to just the image and the attachment page which we're using right now would take you to the attachment page just like this. So back to where we were. So it's a little cramped. It uh, doesn't really fit real well with our theme and a lot of times people say oh no I'll just go back to using two columns instead of three but I really want three. Um, well there's another way you can get around that. Uh, so we're going to go back to the back end and right here under settings I'm going to click on that. Uh, actually I'm going to get the sub menu and I'm going to click on media under settings. And so what that's going to do is bring us to this page, and it says thumbnail size. So we have the width and the height at 150. And so that's our standard across the board uh, size of thumbnails on our website. Uh, we can change this, make it just a little smaller. So I'm going to change it to 100 and save those changes. So now when we come back to the front end of our website and refresh it, you'll see that those are smaller and they seem to fit a whole lot better with our theme. Uh, so that's one simple easy thing that you can do to uh, get your thumbnails to appear the way that you want them in your on your website. Uh, so that's how you can one of the ways that you can customize your uh, photo gallery. So you can change the order, you can add captions, and you can change the thumbnail size which also when you go to your attachment page will change the thumbnail size uh, here as well so you'll have smaller links um, there. 